Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? I don't know what happened. I think I must have pressed something. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me now? I think I must have accidentally, okay. I think I must accidentally hit something. I don't know what I did, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Carrie. Okay, sorry. I was trying to scroll down so I could see all the chat and I think I must have hit something. Okay. So back to the shadow boxes, so I went ahead and just folded all the score lines. And what I do before I build the shadow box, I like to decorate the inside first. Um, that is, of course, optional. Um, it's totally up to you um, if you want to do that. But I um, actually fold it. I wanted this side to be the inside. So let me just fold it back. So just pick which side you want to be the inside of your shadow box. So I'm just folding it back the other way. Because I want these to be the inside. So I like the script. Okay. So uh, what I did here, well, the first one I did, so let's do the first one real quick here. Um, let me show you what I did. Let's see, I added the... Mindy in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I already cut Mindy out. Let's see here. So this is Mindy, and she's one of the Julie Nighting doll stamps. So right here, you can use any of um, Julie's stamps, they're all beautiful. And this item number is 910365. And I stamped her on this paper pad. And I love using this paper pad for skin. I'm finding it's my favorite. This is the Timeless Memory Stack. Um, this is the A4 pad. And this is 847357. And I used that to stamp on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to color her hair, and that's using Julie's watercolor pencils in the hair and skin tone. And this is item number 576745. And then I'm going to use the Prima um, watercolor, I mean water marking pencil here, or brush. I'm not sure why I call it a pencil. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of the colors. I just used one color, actually to color her hair. I think I used this brown. And this is the number 89 from the set. Okay. And all I do is, um, Julie has lots of tutorials how to use this. Um, so go ahead and log on uh, YouTube and go on Prima's YouTube channel and you'll find a lot of tutorials from Julie. And I just tap it onto the pencil, with the brush, and I just color. Now I just go around it. Because the paper already has color in it, so it um, makes it that much easier. And these are really nice to work with. Um, it's very forgiving, and that's what's really nice. You can always go back and keep adding to it if you want it to go darker. You can even take one color pencil Go over the hair once, let it dry, and if you go over back again with the same color, you'll notice the color is darker. So that's what's cool. You can even just use one color pencil to, to do a two-tone hair color. Okay, so that's all I did. I just, you know, really easy, just colored the hair. like so. Just kind of like coloring in a coloring book, which is really nice. I made her bangs a little bit darker, so I'll go back. 
because you'll see how I'm going back and the color is going to change. You see how it went darker again now? And then you could just blend. I'll show it. I'll bring it up closer for you so you can see what I mean. So you just blend. Okay, so you can see that. See there, how there's it's like two colors, but I just used one pencil. And that's what's cool about these watercolor pencils. And then you just you just keep blending till you get it to where you like it. And that's it. That's all I did. So this is a really nice set. So I'm gonna put this aside. Okay. And then now we're gonna just fussy cut her out. So I'm just gonna cut her really quick here. Again, I just kind of move my scissors, move the paper as I cut. And then I also edge um, my uh, doll stamps out after I cut them because I try to avoid those the white lines showing. And I always use um, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. It's my favorite color. I'm just cutting. So I'm just supposed to cut her out. I love her hair. So high. I cut these out. Um, I don't add it onto the stamp this time. You can cut around it, but I just cut them out on mine. <laughs> I'm so used to cutting with large scissors. I used to cut with the smaller scissors, but then I found myself always going like this too much. And then it just started to make my um, hands hurt. I don't know, for some reason, once I used larger scissors, I found it so much easier. And I've just been hooked since. It's okay if you cut a little bit of the stamp, I mean the stamped line. And again, I just distress the edges. She's almost cut out. There's really thin ankles. <laughs> I wish my angles were that small. Okay, there she is. Okay, let's just get this all out of the way. This time I want to try to keep my space clean. <laughs> Unlike my very, very first video, I made such a huge mess. Okay, so here's my um, vintage photo. And then I just kind of do this. Dress the edges. Sometimes I'll use a Copic marker um, to go over the lines, but this is so much faster. So I'm just going over the parts that I didn't get so close to the line. Okay, so there's Mindy. So we got Mindy here. Okay, now I'm going to add her outfit. And I pre stamped it on the same paper collection. Let's see here. Make sure I got all of her stuff here. 
So this is going to be um, her skirt, this, this design right here. And let's just cut this out. So I'm just cutting out her bottom part of her dress. Give it a two-tone look to her dress. So just cut that out. Is everyone doing okay? So let's just stretch that. Okay. Let's see here. Make sure I'm in the screen here. Okay, so now we're just going to glue this on to her outfit. And I love this thing. This is the Fine Line Standard Tip. Um, it's an applicator. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It's in the section where they sell those modeling cards that you could build. Um, there's two different kinds. There's a standard tip and a really fine line tip. And then I just add my um, scotch quick dry glue in here. And this is like magic. I, I find myself using this all the time, especially with the doll stamps, with the outfits and stuff. It makes it so much easier to apply. Um, and when you're working with such a small area, um, especially for shoes, I mean, it's the perfect glue to have. Now this, I'm going to cut this piece right here for her, I'm going to layer this actually. I'm putting a different color here. And I actually put pop dots on these ones on this piece to give it some dimension. So I'm just cutting this out. Okay, again, I'm gonna distress. And I'm just gonna put some pop dots here. I'll just cut a piece. It just gives it dimension to this piece right here. So I'm just peel this out. Sorry, it's my dog. And then I'm just going to put this on top. So you can see it's more dimensional. Let's actually scoot this up. Okay, and then now I'm just going to cut her top. Let's see here. Actually, you know what? I'll use this. I'll use the same piece for her top. I kind of like this color. So I'm just going to cut this out. Sorry, when I fussy cut, I tend to get quiet. Okay, so let's just cut this here. All right, so I'm going to distress that. And then I'm just going to glue that. And I sometimes I'll glue it onto the doll, or I'll glue it onto the piece. It works both ways. Just glue that on. Okay. There's Mindy, she's really cute. Let's see her. And then I just have to add her shoes. So this is where that glue comes very handy because these shoes are really small. So I just stamped this on some design paper. Oops. See where am I at? I think I better hurry up because I still got quite a ways to go. So I just cut this really quick here. 
I'm just stressing this also. I just stress the edges on all the things I fussy cut out. So I'm just going to add it on to my yeast shoe here. And then just place it on top. Like so. Okay, and then I'm going to cut her last shoe here. This is a tricky part right here. Getting around it. I just like it all to match. Let's see. I could probably have colored it in, but I like to use the paper. All right, so she's done. So we'll just add this on her other shoe here. Okay, so we got Mindy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shadow box and I'm going to start um, embellishing. Okay, so I'm going to glue her like so. Let me see the one that I did here. Just reference off of that. And then I used some gorgeous flowers here. Let's see. I used one of these flowers right here, again from the same collection, and this one is called Elizabeth, and this is item number 583309 is the number. I'm going to take one of these flowers here, and I'll probably use one of these. Which one should I use? So I'm using this one right here. Let me glue her down first. I want to make sure her feet are at the bottom where the score line is. Okay. And I'm just going to use this fine tip glue again. Because, and this is another great thing about this because it gets where her little ankles are and her neck. It's just like the best thing to have. So I'm just going to place her like so. I want to make sure she's straight because one of her feet's kind of lifting. I'm going to scoot her over a little bit. Okay. There we go. Let me just add a little bit more to our hair because I, this, with the Scotch quick dry, you got to be quick, otherwise it dries fast. So just add a little more to our hair. Okay, so see Mindy's in the box now. Now I'm going to add this flower right here. Kind of cover her foot a little bit. This time I'm going to use the Fabri Tac glue. Flower. So just add a little to the back here. Just place it like so. So you can embellish it however you like. And then um, I'm going to add, let's see here, I'll add, let's see, where's that other flower? I'll add one of these really pretty flowers. And this is um, Anne. And this is number 583316. And I'll put a one this time. This is like a fabric material. It's really neat. It's like a feels like a velvet. So I'm just gonna put that there. Just like that. And I think I added some of the Satan crystal in there too. Let me find that. Let me do that pad. I think I added one. Oops. Let it go. So I just kind of added one in the corner here. Like so. And then I added jewelry on her. 
So this is the Julie's Sade and Crystal, and this is item number 911164. These are her really pretty jewelry that you can add to the dolls. And I'm going to use this one right here. See that? This necklace. Just add it to Mindy. Actually, I'm going to cut a little bit of it. So let me just cut some of it off. It's kind of long. And save it. Don't throw these away because you can use these as earrings. So I'm going to put it back in the packaging. And then just add her necklace. Like pretty. There you go. See? Very cute. And I'm going to add a wood chip. I didn't add one on that one, but I'm going to add one to this one. I'm going to put this pretty little flower right here. And it's the wood embellishment, so it's part of the collection. So you get a king and queen with a bicycle, a teapot, sentiment love, a flower, this really pretty banner, and then a sentiment that says be happy. And this is item number 582500. And I'll just kind of put that right here. Kind of tuck it in there. Just add this. Sorry, my dog. Okay, so that's the first shadow box. Okay, so now all we have to do is just put it together. So now all you're going to do is just fold the tabs here. Pull these two, pull these four tabs down. Add your adhesive. So again, you can um, embellish it before you build the box, or if you're comfortable doing it after you build the box, it works both ways. I've tried it both ways, and you could do it either way. You just get more room when it's not built. Okay, and then all you're going to do is you're going to take these tabs, push it in, and I give it a good press, like so, like this. And then I just add adhesive to the corners of this tab, okay? So just add it to the corner only. And then you place it down. And you want to make sure it's even with the side of the box. So just give it a good peg press. Just hold it for a couple seconds. Do that to the same side. And then I just kind of push this down. And do the same with the bottom. Just add, you just need a little bit, not too much. It's just to hold that tab down. And then again, push that down. Again, you want to make sure it's all nice and lined up on the sides here. Just give it a good press on this one. And then I just do this. Just make sure. Nice and straight. Okay. Okay, and then I decorate the top, and I use this Martha Stewart. It's a doily punch. I'm sorry, I don't know the number to it, but it's this one. And I just got it at Michael's. I'm sure they still probably carry this. And I'm, I just pre-punch some out right here. And all I do is just place it like so, right on top, and then I cut. So I just make sure it's even. So I'm just going to add adhesive onto the tab right here. And to be exact, it's about 
like one, two, three, four, about five scallops. So I just line it up like this. Okay, and then I just cut. So it's good to cut a little bit extra, that way you know it's nice and even. Okay, so that's what the top looks like. You get a really pretty decorative top on your shadow box. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So the other shadow box, um, what I did was I used the three by, and that's another thing I wanted to incorporate is the three by four cards. And that's how I determined the measurement as well is to incorporate these um, cards too. And I want the one that has sentiment at oh, I'm sorry, this item number is 582-593. And let me find the one with the sentiment. This one, the greatest moments in life are the simplest. So I'm going to use that one as well. And then I just kind of place it in the center like so. If you want it to have dimension, you can put a pop dot, you know, if you like. But I'm just going to lay it flat. So I'm just adding adhesive. And it fits really nicely in the shadow box. Okay, and then I added, again, these wood embellishments. I put one up here, so I'm taking this really pretty flower and putting it up here in the corner. So let's just add that. Okay, and then I just added flowers down here. I also, I incorporated the, the cute little dog this guy right here, but I'll probably let's see here. Let's see if I can cut him out really quickly because I still have to do the top, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. So I'm using these flowers right here. It's super pretty. It's like these crystals on it, and this is Victoria, and it's item number five eight three two seven nine. I will use see, I'll use this one. This one's really pretty. So I'm just kind of kind of lift up the petals here. I love the center. Look at that. How beautiful. So I'm just add adhesive. So I'm just gonna add it to the corner here. Because I've got a lot of space down here to add stuff. Let's see what else did I put? And then I put again another one of these. Just, sorry, I'm a mess here. I'm going to add another one of these flowers. Um, let's see. I'll add the pink one this time. So just kind of tuck it in here. So, now I'll keep this one simple. So I'll just do that to this one. And again, we're just going to build the shadow box. So we're just going to push down those tabs again. Um, let's see here. And our adhesive. So you're going to do the same step like you did to the first shadow box. So I'm just going to put this together really quickly here. Give it a good press. Okay. And then squeeze this in like so. Give it a good squeeze. And then add again to the corners of the tab here. Make sure it's again really nice and lined up. Just give it a good press. Do that to 
to the bottom. Just press it like so. Just wait a couple of seconds. And then I just give it again a good, nice, good squeeze. Make sure it's nice and straight. Just press it. Glue dots will work beautiful too with these corners. We have glue dots. Okay, and then I'm going to take again my. Um, doily that I punched out and I'm just going to add it to the top and then I just make sure the sides are even so I just kind of give it a look here and I place it down so it's good to punch out a little bit extra so we've got something to work with and then I turn it over and then I cut There you go. There's the other shadow box. I'll probably add the little dot later. Because I still need to do the top. Make sure if I have enough time. Okay. So now the next step is to create the sides. Now the, this piece right here is what makes the shadow box do this. It's what makes it open and close. Okay. So this piece right here. This measures uh, four and one eighth by five and five oh by nine and five sixteenths. I'm sorry. So four and one eighth by nine and five sixteenths. So to be exact, it's the first line after the quarter inch mark. Okay. You're gonna make two of those. Now you're gonna notice it's ones on the opposite direction. So just make sure when you do um, the right side, this side, that the one inch mark is on this side, okay? You just have to flip your paper to make it easy. And then you're gonna cut the corners here, you cut the bottom down here, and you're gonna cut the top right here. So you're just gonna fold, fold these lines right here. Now what you're going to do is this piece right here, this one inch piece, is going to fold, you've got to fold that back actually. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your, this drawer that we built, okay, and you're going to glue the tab, this whole side piece and the bottom tab to the side right here. So it's going to end up like this. Okay. So we're going to do that. So let's add our glue here. So I'm just using again the fabric tack glue. And you want to make sure it's nice and even here. Give it a good press here. Okay, so it should look like this. Can you guys see that? I know, I'm sorry, my camera is kind of... Can you see that? How it's... This flap is sticking up right here. Okay. This flap is what's going to get glued to the box right here. So you're going to take this box, let me see, let me make sure I can see, let me see the full screen, oh, there we go. You're going to take this box, you're going to turn it upside down, okay, you're going to glue this piece right here to this piece, so it's going to end up like this, see, it's going to end up like that, okay, so let's just add our adhesive to this tab right here. Now I'm going to put this, I lay this on top, and 
I'm just going to press. Do a nice press. Okay. Now you're going to see how it opens and closes. See how it opens? Okay, now I'm going to do that to the other side. Let me just fold these. So you have to make two of these for each side, one for each side. And remember to push this back. Just give it a nice press. Just press it down. So. Okay, let me just add a little glue to this tab and get a little corner. You've got to make sure all your tabs are covered so it will lay onto the paper nicely. Okay, and then now we're going to glue this one. So again, I'm going to put it upside down. I'm just going to glue it like that. So let me just add adhesive to this right here. Just give it a good squeeze. Just hold it for a couple seconds. Is everyone doing okay? Okay, there you go. See how it opens and closes? See that? Let me just add some more glue to this up here. Okay, now we have to add a piece for the back and the top and the bottom of the lid. So the back piece to cover this white part right here. Oops, I should have took the drawers out. That's okay. So this back piece right here that measures um, three and one eighth by eight and a quarter. So this piece is three and one eighth by eight and a quarter, and this is just going to go right here. Okay. So we'll just add our glue to this back piece. And then glue it on top. And it would be really nice if you sent this to someone. You could, you know, maybe put a message back here. Um, you could maybe even add a little envelope and put a message in the envelope. If you want to give this as a gift. That'd be a nice place to put a message. Okay, so that's the back. And then we want to make a bottom piece to cover, you know, that tab right there. And this measures three and one eighths by three and one eighths. Actually, just stress that. I have to go back and just stress all my edges. And then we'll just add our adhesive. You're going to make two of these, okay? One for the bottom and one for the top. So it's just going to cover the bottom. And, uh, oops, my drawers came out. Let's put my drawers back in. Okay, and now we're going to make one for the top. Again, it's three and one eighths by three and one eighths. And then just place that right on top. Okay, now we got to decorate the top, and let's see what I got up here. What did I do up here? Okay, so I added, uh, let's see, I added one of these, again, one of these flowers. Um, this is 
the 583309. I'm going to add, which one was that purple one? I'm going to put this purple one. It's from the same pack. So I'm going to add this purple one on top here. So I'm just going to add some adhesive. So I'll just place that right there. So you can decorate the top with all these gorgeous flowers and wood pieces. It makes it so pretty. I added the sentiment, the love sentiment. And I'm going to use this glue so I can go around the letters. And then just kind of tuck that in there. So just put that like that. You guys can make sure you guys can see all this. Okay. Uh, let's see what else flowers can we add. Oh, I added these pretty flowers. Look at this pack. This is um, 583330. It's Helena. You get all these pretty flowers and the leaves as well. I'm going to add those. Let me just take this all out. So I'm going to add the leaf really nice size leaves. So I will place one back here. Just tuck that back here. Okay, and then I think I put one in the front. It comes with a couple, several leaves that you can put one right here. Do that. Really pretty. And then, let's see here, I added one of those ones with the crystals in it. So the ones with the nice sparkle to it. I'm going to add one of these. And again, this is um, 583279 Victoria. I will put this one. Look how pretty that is. See all those crystals in there? I love the centers. So I'm just going to lift up. The first layer of the petals, I will lift those up. Kind of push that up there. I don't want to take the crystals out, so I'll just do it really carefully. And then just add your adhesive. And then we're just going to tuck her in here. Kind of tuck her in the front. In like that, and then I took one of these cute little ones from the same. Um, this is the same pack, the Helena pack, the five eight three 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 zero. I'm gonna cut out one of these. They're so cute and tiny. See that? So I will add these up to the back of that. I'll just tuck that in the front, like so. Really cute. And then let's add an, I'll add one of these to the back. So I'll just tuck that back here. And I love these. Look how pretty these are. So I'm just going to glue the back of here. I just glue the entire stem, basically, and I'm going to tuck it inside, like so. So if you guys can, let me see if I can get a better view of all this. You guys see all that? So you can see I just layered them all together. Just kind of push it like that. Okay, that's what I did there. And then I added this cute, let's see, where's this guy at? I used this one, the Stampin' Ad, the Moth Wings. And this is item number 892517. I stamped um, these wings right here. And what I do with that embellish? It's supposed to have... Um, I don't know what I did to that one piece. Uh -oh. I'm 
Okay, well, I used one of the metal pieces that was on the top, and I'm not sure what happened to it. But I will just stab these two. And I'll put this guy on top. So let me just stamp this. And I used the same paper from the Thomas Memory Stack. And I'm just going to stamp it on here. Let me just stamp it real quick here. I'm not going to even use a stamp block. I am not sure what I did to it. So I'm just going to stamp it directly to the pad. It hopes that it stamps nicely. Okay, kind of. I have my stamp block, but I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me try it again. It's not easy stamping it with a block. Okay, well, that's kind of good. And then let's stamp this. So don't do this. <laughs> You've got to use a stamp block. So let's cut him out. I just added a mock on the top. Let me just cut this out real quick. Let's turn this on frame. We're almost done. Just need to add this guy. And we are there. So I'm just fussy cutting out the wings on the mock here. going to distress that edge. Okay, so you got this really cool mop wing. Love this. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. It's in this drawer. There you go. I had it in the drawer. There we go. It's a little light bulb. Okay. Yay, I found it. Okay, so I'm just going to Add some glue on this. So I'm just going to add him. Put this out of the way. I'm going to add him on top. Kind of just, you know, put him right here. You can just place him on one of the flowers like that. Like so. And then I'm just going to add adhesive to the back of this piece. I'm just going to add some glue. And then just put it on top. Like so. There you go. Got the cute, as you can see, that moth. Isn't he so adorable? I love this stamp set. It's so cool. And then Prima has a couple of different kinds, too, um, of this, which is really neat. So that is a project. I think. I pretty much completed it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I forgot to do this. I forgot to add my stencil here. One more, sorry. Okay, so this is the six by six stencil. This is lace five eight zero zero three two. Really cool. Look at that. So many different kind of laces. And I just add it to the top of this box right here. And then I just use the modeling paste. And this is item number 961411. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this here. Okay, let me get my tool. I'm just using my little palette knife here. I'm going to take just a little bit, not too much. And I am going to see which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one right here, which is basically the first one, I think. And I'm just adding it to the box. You could do this before you build the box, you know, whenever you're comfortable. I just do it after. And then I just place it right on top, like so, just really quickly. Just add, you know, a little 
decorative look to it. I'm going to do it to the side too. So you just place the stencil right on top. And then you just add your little palette knife with the modeling paste right on top. There you go. Just wipe that. All right, everyone, that's the project. Really, really fun, you know. You can, again, use any of your Julie Nutting dolls to put in the shadow box and coordinating embellishments. And then you can decorate the top however you want. Use the three by four cards to add the, to the other side of the shadow box. And you can fill in your drawers. See, I'm just gonna put my flowers in here. Put my extra flowers. That you can add in a drawer. Really fun. And that is the project for today. Uh, yes, the measurements will be on the videos. So be sure to check out uh, Prima's YouTube channel, Prima Marketing Inc. This is our YouTube channel. You see all the live videos that we'll do, and they post it on their channel as well. Do any of you have any questions? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, these are these are really fun. Again, um, you could make so many beautiful ones with Primus flowers and all the different collections and and you guys all know all the collections come with embellishments flowers everything is coordinating and again i designed this specifically to use the a4 six by six and the three four um, note cards so you can make this thank you so much i really appreciate it i'm gonna hit stop record but i'll still be on and chat with you guys a little bit so let me just hit stop record real quick so thank you so much everyone for joining me today here live with prima again my name is gona rivera tran and thanks everyone so much for watching